nature to me is actually this. It's agriculture next to a forest and a hedge. And this diversity that brings joy and that there's something to see. I do like forests, but also agriculture. This is food and we will eat this. I go here and I know that uh, in autumn I will be able to eat this, uh, this cereal and I can taste it. And what you eat yeah, is part of yourself, it just gives your identity. Biodiversity for me means relationships. So that can be very tiny by having different species, but it's also to having different ecotypes. Eh? That what you see here, different ecosystems next to each other. And those relations between those two, yeah, that's for me biodiversity. So you can have different varieties of a crop within a field, you can have different crops, and then the whole relation between in it. That is biodiversity. The biggest threats to biodiversity loss in agriculture are large fields and very few species. So the moment we can turn that to a smaller area and more species, I think we can still bend the curve. There is, it's still possible. Nature is resilient. The solution is that we reduce the areas, for example, by strip cropping, smaller areas, and use more different species in our cropping system. So to produce more different plants, that means that we also have to eat differently. If we only eat very limited amount of crops, then farmers won't grow many different crops. What for me important is, is that we show that another agriculture is possible. We do this by teaching farmers, by having a lot of courses, and we teach by doing. So we go to a farm like this and we show it is possible to have an income and biodiversity. Many farmers want to diversify, but they say nobody wants to buy it because there's no demand. And that's, I think, a crucial task for society, but also for industry, that they are able to deal with diversity. Biodiversity needs diversity. So let ecology thrive and adapt technology to it rather than the other way around. And I think there's a really nice challenge for us to work as Wageningen to do that together, because you cannot be diverse alone. Agriculture is possible without biodiversity, but not something that I would like to live in that kind of world. If we include it, then we have a far better future rather than a dystopia.